And at this audition, I show up and I see Nia Long sitting in a chair. And I, of course, know who she is because she's Nia Long. And I'm new out here. And I was like, when I walked in, I was like, oh, shit. So at what point did you decide to start getting into the, the space of acting? Uh, so acting came about while I was in college. I okay. went to Cal State Hayward, which is about 40 minutes outside of San Francisco, okay. on the other side of Oakland. Um, and I was going to school for advertising. And we had a friend that was recruiting girls for a Miss Black California pageant when I was in college. And so me and some of my friends, we were like, oh, yeah, what's a pageant? What do we have to do? Blah, blah, blah. So we, I did this pageant. And um, one of the judges in the pageant was a producer of a play that um, they were casting that was going to tour the country. So after the pageant was over, he asked me if I would be interested in auditioning for his play. And I was like, well, what does that mean? What do you mean audition? Were you like hesitant at first? Well, I didn't know what it, I didn't know what you did. I never even heard of auditioning. For, I didn't even know that that was a real career. I don't know. So, um, so he told me what to do um, to come to the Black Repertory Theater, um, which was in Berkeley, California. And he told me to bring a picture and a resume. And I would meet the playwright and director when I came. So I went, um, I took a picture because I didn't have pictures. I didn't know what he was talking about. So anyway, me and my girlfriend, we took pictures the night before, the Polaroid pictures that I'm aging. Supposed to be your headshot. That was my, I didn't know. He didn't, I didn't know anything about headshot, but I didn't have one. So I took a Polaroid picture, you know, I had one of those. It was color. I had on a lot of colorful makeup, so you can be sure to see all my colors. Okay. And um, I brought my resume with me, which was a regular working resume. Wait, so you brought your job Davis, resume? Marriott Hotel. So I had my resume, and I had my Polaroid picture, and I went to the Black Repertory Theater. And I show up, and there's, of course, a bunch of real actors there, like thespian and they're training and stretching and humming and moaning, pre preparing for their audition, you know, doing all these mm, knee, knee, doing all these theatrical exercises. And I'm like, this shit is weird. And so I just sat in the corner, waited for them to call my name. I went in, met the director, met the playwright, and they gave me some material to read. So I was always good in school. I could read very easily. So I read it. And then the director was like, mm, this character, she's really sassy. Can you read it again? But this time read it sassy with some sass. Okay. And I was already sassy. I was, I didn't know I was supposed to be sassy in this audition. So I was trying to, you know, be proper. Right. And so when he said read it sassy, so then I was just reading it like myself. So I read the material. And um, when I got home that night, they called me and offered me a part in this play. And I toured for two years with that show. Wow. That was my introduction to acting. Uh, that was David E. Talbert's very first play wow. that he ever wrote. Wow. And uh, we toured together for, like I said, for like two years. So fast forward, um, you end up getting in the movie Friday. How did you even hear about it? After I toured with that show, for two years, I decided I was going to move to LA and I was going to pursue this as a career. And so I moved to LA and I just started getting into a bunch of classes, acting classes, workshops. Um, I became a member of the um, Black Actors Network. So I was just, you know, getting into it. And I eventually got an agent. And so I started going out on auditions and Friday was one of those auditions. Um, I want to say I have been living in L.A. maybe maybe three years at the time. OK, wow. Two or three years at the time. And um, was had, were you were you having any gigs like that up to that that moment? No, just small stuff, commercials, um, guest spots on some shows, auditioning for stuff. Um, but this was my first movie. Um, and I had auditioned for the role that Nia Long ended up playing. And so I auditioned for that, but I got like three callbacks for that role. And so at the last callback, you know, this was the one. It was like, and at this audition, I show up 
and I see Nia Long sitting in a chair. And I, of course, know who she is because she's Nia Long. And I'm new out here. And I was like, when I walked in, I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, getting this. So, um, so, you know, she goes in and I hear them in there, hoo hoo, ha ha, kee kee, and laughing outside the door. And then she leaves. And now it's my turn to go in. <laughs> right. Uh, but I go in and I do my audition and um, they call and they say, you did a really good job. Nia's going to get the part, but if you want to, we would like to offer you a smaller part in the movie just so you can be a part of the movie. And that's how I ended up being in the movie. And that was China. China. So that Which the character didn't even have a name at first. Really? At all. No. no. On set, I, during the scene, I feel was like, your name's China. Because he was like, so what's, what's your character's name? And I was like, so he I, would oh, jump in and out of uh, the character oh, yeah. to like that rap. Oh yeah, he, he would. would. Oh wow, he would. He would. He would. The um the scene that we did see with you was that the only scene, or did they shoot some more with uh, China? Um, it was that was the only scene um that I had that was that had speaking lines. But then you know that the whole fight during the night and all that. So I was there. Right for all of that because it was like the whole neighborhood right. was there so I was there just not saying anything but just part of the right background. now that ended up being um I, I felt like was it an independent film it was was it it was for New Line okay so it was but I think the budget was really small yes um John Witherspoon did an interview uh, last year mm -hmm. he talked about he made five thousand dollars for the role oh I'm sorry I made nothing like that really it wasn't like a life-changing Payout for the moment. No, I probably made like one hundred and fifty dollars, two fifty. Yeah, no. And at the time, did you did you know how special it was gonna be, or no? no? I didn't. It's another gig. It was my first movie. I was very excited. Ice Cube was in it. Nia Long was in it. So I was just like excited to right. be a part of it. You heard anything about the last one yet? No, they're not calling me. They're not calling China. China might have came <laughs> up. China, China might be a black owned business owner in right, the hood. In a, right. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, come on, what's happening? I think China should come back to Friday. But no, nah, they ain't called your girl. No, they haven't called me at all. Okay. At all. 